There's a new way for parents to hand off their children in custody exchanges or online marketplace meetups. And it's all because of an Eagle Scout project. Paige Taylor met with the teen talking about his inspiration and is live in studio with more on how it could help the community. Paige. Daniel Ethan Cavender needed to complete a community project as part of the process in becoming an Eagle Scout. He created safe exchange points and they were just installed at the St. Albans Police Department and Fire Station. It makes me feel proud about it and that I actually was able to provide something for a greater cause. The idea came after Ethan Cavender went to a city council meeting and brainstormed ideas with the mayor for his Eagle Scout project and they talked about a need for safe exchange points in the city. My mom told me a story about a mother who was killed during a uh, child custody exchange and so these being here in like near first responders would provide a lot more security. Cavender then worked to make the safe points a reality. Me and my family and some other friends, we painted the parking spots and the city donated the signs and posts. Safe exchange points at both the police department and fire station are under 24-7 video surveillance. With the uh, child custody issues, sometimes uh, the exchange can be heated. I hope it gives the kids a little bit of comfort when they drop off and pick up children from our location. It's in an area close to the door that our officers on duty will use routinely. Making the community safer through Eagle Scout projects has been a family affair with one of Cavender's brothers also previously contributing to the police department for his project. I think in this day and age, we always question our youth. Uh, and we've had two young citizens of the city of St. Albans include the police and fire departments in projects that I think are just unbelievable. Ethan says his hope is for other cities to create safe exchange points as well. Live in the studio, Paige Taylor, Eyewitness News. Thanks for watching and here's another video from Eyewitness News. Click right here to subscribe to our channel and remember to hit the bell notification for the latest.